increase profits in any business in three simple ways. I have decided to focus this article on overall business success formulas that are both relevant to online and offline business. Where to start? Let's look at the three simple ways to increase profits in any business. When you start your first business you get a lot of advice about writing business plans, financial plans, SWOT analysis strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats, as well as goal setting quarterly, annually and over five years. You get told to brand your business with a logo, get business cards and away you go. Next thing you will need to systemize your business. Start testing and measuring your marketing, then reevaluate all of the steps above, all over again. As important as these steps are, none of them is going to bring customers in the door or get your phone ringing. None of them are going to build your business to a viable enterprise that will work, whether you are there or not. None of them are going to cover the relentless amount of hours you are going to put into your business, give you back sleep lost worrying about money matters or pay the bills when you it may have just been me. But I spent a lot of time, money and frustration in my first business before it became obvious to the fact I was focusing on the wrong things. I was putting the cart before the horse. I believe to write a proper business plan you need to have these three areas understood and covered right from the very beginning. I will cover them more in depth as to how to improve on them at a later stage but here are the three areas. 1. Leads. Every person that is interested in a product or service that you or your competitors provide. There are many ways to increase these leads. Finding free or cheap methods are always best and most times work better than the expensive methods. Finding a consistent way to get a steady flow of traffic to your business is the first step to conversions. Getting them to buy your product when they are ready to purchase. Not everyone that shows interest in your product or service is ready to buy now. The more of them you can encourage to buy now the better. But you should always consider that this lead will probably purchase at some stage. So make sure you give them a reason to come back and buy from you. 3. Average Dollar SALE the amount the average buyer spends on your product or service. When the average buyer comes into your store and buys a hammer, if you can remind that buyer that they may need nails, a nail bank and a toolbox to put it all in and they purchase some or all of those things, then you have just increased your average dollar sale. Improving just one of these three areas will increase your profits, but improving all three will exponentially an online business connection. Increase the traffic to your website, Get more people that visit your website to purchase from you. Sell them more than just one product or service. If not direct them to other products or services and make a commission. It all works the same. The three things that will drive any business forward is an increased number of leads. Converting more of those leads to sales. And then selling more to the customer than what they would have normally purchased. Simple. If you want to start your own online business. Learn how here www.the affiliate effect for small business internet marketing go to www.localentrepreneur.com.au